Welcome to Stock Tank Pool Authority. Over four years ago, we installed our stock tank pool and then brought you the first stock tank pool DIY on our blog, Hey Wanderer. Since then, we have built decks, benches, tried out new products, created stock tank pool stickers, and installed numerous stock tank pools for people all over the South and Southeast. We provide tips, tutorials, and tours on our website and curate lots of inspiration over on our Instagram account, at Stock Tank Pool. Today we're going to be showing you how to make these inlet and outlet pieces out of a kit. Okay guys, I'm going to tell y'all, show you exactly what's inside this kit that we link to on our website. We get comments all the time and if you read the comments on the places where we link to, people say, this isn't the right part, this isn't the right part, but let me tell you, it's the right part. We would not link to it, we would not tell you it was right if it wasn't and we've used it all summer. So I'm going to show you exactly what's inside and how you use this on your stock tank pool. Usually people want this because they are missing the inlet piece uh, because they've been sold out and this is actually perfect for that. If you're only using this because you have the 1500 pump and it didn't come with the other part, um, I'm going to show you first how you use this. So it comes with two of these guys. Two of these, you won't need these. This whole assembly and this thing. So it comes with a plunger valve, which you're gonna need. Um, I mean, I guess you don't technically need it, but it's very helpful. And we're gonna disassemble this. So this part just fell off of the plunger valve that goes right in there and you need to make sure that's on there or this guy will leak. So leave that. And then this part, you're going to just take this, twist it off. Take one of these, twist it on. And then you'll take this piece out. Like this. And we're just going to screw that in here. You actually won't do this until you've got it installed, but I'm just showing you how it works. And you will, if you're using this for the bottom part that takes the water out of the pool into the pump, you will need to put this on here. This um, has a, a hole in there for air leak to leak out of, and it will leak a little bit of um, water, but also it won't work properly. So that's how you use this for the, out, the outlet piece. And then if you're using this for the smaller pump, like the 1000, you will do one of the pieces like this. So one whole box will be this part. And then another box, you will keep this the way it originally came. And when you install this, you will not have this on. This you can put on when the pump's not running so that there aren't little bubbles linking out of here like water bubbles if it does that it's totally fine but this will just keep it from leaking when it's not running but when it's running this needs to be off so this will be your top piece okay so here we have it the two parts that you need top and bottom inlet outlet uh sorry here you go and you need one kit to make this and one kit to make this and also if you get the kits they come with this so you won't need to buy extra plunger valves if you buy a pump that already has one of these outlets you'll only need one kit